technology that's cool okay I just discovered there's actually a handheld microphone here it's pretty amazing because uh, you know I was sitting there talking in the stupid thing because in my cheap little camcorder you have to do that okay we're, this is the second game the first set will win the first one seven six with a backhand left wall technically an over went under Tim's mount it's completely irrelevant but I just thought I'd just say which shot finished each game just for the heck of it you know um, Okay, I'll let the game just play itself out. Joining us now is Mark Robbins, walking in here drinking a Snapple. Mark, what kind of Snapple is that? Pink? Lemonade. Pink lemonade. Okay. The best. Right. Right. First game, we just started in This is the second game of the first set. First game went to Will 7 6. Uh, they started already. Yeah, they already started. This is the second game of the first set. And Will's winning 1 0. Uh, I thought they would close that door. Yeah, they, they thought about that, but uh, uh, Will got two things. One, people might be opening the door they wouldn't know it on sign. People might be opening the door. And two, uh, there's actually a little bit more light with it reflecting on that coming in from the other room, so. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, you're saying? I mean, like, you're saying, what are you doing? I, have you gotten fat or are you on steroids now? No, I'm working out. I chunked up a little bit, but I'm working out, too. This is a pectoral. Yeah, my bench is, is, is getting over 200. No, man, but, like, your face is fat. My face is not fat. That's my beard, dude. No, no, no. Is my face fat? You with a, yeah, like, Man, I've been on a couple like pounds. Anabolic no, I've been on a couple pounds, but not much. Uh, you know, like, I probably, in addition to muscle, I'll probably put on an extra 10 pounds of fat. Maybe it shows in my face or anyone elsewhere. But, I mean, are you in shape or are you just getting chubby? Uh, I, my aerobic capacity is dropping. I can only get about a mile, but my, my, my weights are getting way up there. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, getting over the, the uh, 200 on the uh, the bench, and the pole's getting pretty strong. The overhead is approaching my body weight, so so I'm, I'm getting pretty strong. Uh, I'm not on anything. I'm, like, I'm just getting pretty strong. I'm working out, but the natural sacrifice is, since I'm trying to put on muscle, like, you know, as rapidly as I can, naturally, the natural sacrifice is I am uh, not doing a lot of aerobic activity, so I'm chunking up a little bit. So I've been on like probably like 10 pounds of excess out of So, so you're, you're giving up on being a great air hockey player. You're no, just man. Get big. No, actually, my, my shots have improved drastically because it's a piece of cake. I mean, I'm a lot stronger than I used to be. You know, like, uh, like I, you know, curling on like quite a bit now. Hey, there's, here's a little bit. Ah! You guys know we're joining us here now, Danny. Oh, sorry. Works at khakis. <laughs> Hey, where's the restroom in this place, man? Where? The restroom, where's it at? It's a big little hole. Yeah. Oh! Man, I mean, you're like a lot bigger than last time I saw you. I am, but I've only, I haven't gone up a pant size yet, okay? My pants are a little snugger, but I haven't gone up a pant size, so I'm still pretty cool. Yeah, but man. I mean, you're like going to be like a really serious weightlifter. Like your brain, your brain's going to start shrinking. No, I'm not. Your man. muscles get big. Your brain cells are going to start. Uh, no, no. So it happens, man. It's a no. correlation. Says I can afford to lose weight. It's the second game, it's 6-6, six, six. it's tied. Uh, but Tim has possession. Ah, 
high. Will got possession on a botch. Cross straight. No! No! He tried a really stupid shot. He tried he tried an, an off speed like 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 cross straight. You can't hear this. I know you can't hear this right now. Can you hear what I'm saying right now? No, I couldn't hear you at the end, but hearing you That's the what I'm talking about. Well, no, if you've told me asked. once, don't tell me again. Okay. I told you twice. Well, anyway. Okay, Will's 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 taking out his frustration on me. So, and now now he's in denial. No, I'm just I'm just telling the mic about it. Okay. So, um, it's I think it's the testosterone, you know, that necessarily one produces along with the adrenaline, you know, in in this kind of match that you know you get a little bit aggressive and defensive and. take over the commentary for a while after the complaint by Will against his coach Gary Morgan we have one game each I don't think this table is so great as Will thinks it is uh, it's not very clean um, of course that can be fixed but I don't see it as being tremendously fast the way he thinks it is Ooh, nice deflect, and it's 2-0, uh, or excuse me. Thought he, might, thought he was over on that one. 4-0 now, excuse me, 4-0. Will's getting the look on his face, the killer look. That was, that was the look Will had on his face in the whole loser's bracket. You know, the yeah. killer look. Yeah. I mean, man, you, you missed a great tournament, Gary. Yeah, I would have gone. I think it didn't, you know, I mean, it sounds like it's been pretty fierce anyway, so. And uh, it's only been after the tournament since Will came back that I've actually started to really, my game started to develop a lot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You no, know, seriously, I, I, uh, my strong shots now are no longer my right balls. My strong shots are my backhand left balls, both over and under. And I've developed a, I'm, I'm That's good. To develop a sliding cross straight. So right now it's just traditional. Yeah, yeah, sure. I had to go ref. Let's hope that Will doesn't, like, shoot me with a shotgun or something. Because he's, he's got, like, his balls are swollen. Yeah. Well, I, I, thought, I thought Andy did, did lose uh, one, miss one line call there. That's 4-1 four, four Will in this game. Nice right wall off of the uh, circle drift. Will type of shot, hard to read. Ooh, just barely missed on the uh, straight. Oh, a lot of weird Will releases here are working. First there was a weird cross straight, and then there was the off-speed cut release. Seven two. I'll tell you, I could not play on that other side there uh, with that door open <clears throat> and people possibly walking through, or the threat of them walking through. But uh, it's up to these guys to complain. Nobody will watch them. Is that the same shirt from the Nationals? We're Bach, and uh, I think you saw that last game. 
um, believe the camera was on, and if you weren't, if it wasn't, it was a 7-2 uh, victory for Will. He's up 3-1 this set, and he's up 1-0 this game. Uh, right wall bank release and ditto. Nice cross straight. Three two Tim. Nice soft uh, rolling over the mallet. Weird, weird ass. Will cross straight release. Wasted shot by Timmy. A lot of wasted shots here now. Ooh, almost a stuff by Will. Ooh, he had it. Somehow it didn't didn't go in. I don't know why. Sorry. was a dumb one by Tim. Should have gone under. Went right in the mallet. It was, it was too open. Shot. Beautiful shot on a reverse circle drift. Six five now. Tim gets a break. Puck goes into the bathroom, but not into the toilet. Can the same thing be said of this set for Tim? not holding a table that well. It's a fairly new table. I mean, not a brand new table, but not an old table. It's a cherry wood brown top dynamo, the, the last uh, version, version of the brown tops. Ooh, it seems to be almost popping out of that goal, but not quite. The second one that, that was a near pop out. Yeah! Nice underneath right wall bank, 7-5. Yeah. Four to one, Will, first set. Seven five. Seven five. Oh, wait, keep that on for a second. Ask a question. In the event a foul is committed by one person or the other, it would normally be a possession foul. If that, the person who's supposed to receive possession gets possession naturally in the course of play without any exchange, right. you don't, 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 call don't say anything. Okay, yeah. that's what I did there. Because yeah. an instance there, I just want to make sure. Um, it's just like declining a penalty. Yeah, really. Tim, Tim doesn't know how to, how to play against Will. Well, obviously, you know, he beat him. He beat him a match 
uh, a couple, you know, what like a year ago. But Will has changed. Will has improved his defense. Well, Will, well, Will's game in general is. Uh, yeah. So well. Tim is is uncertain compared to how he used to be. But right. this is an opportunity. I mean, Tim obviously came here wanting to win, but he also came here wanting to learn how to how to beat yeah. Will and to get practice for his match against Billy. Yeah, well, it's, it's clear at this point he doesn't, he doesn't really know what, how to approach Will, what to use, you know, and how, how to, I think the way he's, I don't know, I guess everyone, maybe everybody plays a certain way of defense. I always thought you kind of adapt your defense in general, you know, I mean, I, well, top players do. They adapt their defense, except the old guys a lot of times who don't. Um, well, who, who maybe can't. Okay, okay. In any case, he's not playing the right kind of, kind of interactive defense you've got to play with Will. It's true. You have to play this You mean of, like attacking defense? Um, yeah, like an aggressive, yeah, an aggressive interactive defense. I find I can't do that against Will. Not that I beat him with the defense I have, but I do yeah. better when I sort of sort of hang back and not get caught out. Let's put it that way. Yeah, um, that's the way I used to approach it too, but I tell you, it, it's, it's, you know, I, I don't... Uh, does this mean you're going to beat him? Your the challenge match you have against Will? I'm not the caliber player. Will. Are you are you going to have a match with Will? Uh, no, he's he's lined up for ages. What? But uh, I'm not the caliber player. Will is, but I do play him enough that I, I know his game probably better than anybody. And uh, and and yes, my greatest success in defense. In fact, I find myself defending. I, I've not been in a match with him, but I had played a match uh, prior to his his in the international, and I'll tell you the the, the the his scoring percentage was was far far lower against me than it is against Tim here because Tim's playing the wrong kind. He's, he's playing, his defense is, is too passive and, and, and scared. That's surprising for to say against Tim, but the problem is Tim generally has a fairly aggressive defense, but Will, man, is bombarded. Well, well, Will, his releases are like today are super Will weird. You know what I mean? I mean, they're very hard to read. And so how do you attack something? You don't even know when, it, when it's it's getting released or where it's going. That's so. the thing. That's why I can only talk about it in principle, because I have the, the added benefit of familiarity. To me, this is what I've been seeing in practice the last few weeks, you know, this this kind of thing. So I have that, that familiarity. So it's it's a little bit different. But it's it's once you've played him a few games, certainly he'll key into Will's shot selection, which has changed. Will's shot selection change. Uh, you know how he he's uh there is there is you know a method to the madness and that sort of thing like he always says and if and if you some maybe you just have to play more aggressive and play the percentages figure out what what kind of shots he's working with you're gonna have to give up certain things and, and go for percentages and, and go for the blocking the strong scoring shots and go for possession to it. well I, I hate to interrupt you because um, um well, I, I know I know it's rare that you talk uh, uh, this much however we need to save some tape, so I'm gonna we're gonna true, sign true. off here and come back for the next set. Okay, that's a good idea. And maybe you can commentate it if I ref it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, tell me when you're ready. Where's our on button, man? Ah, there it is. Sandy, you want to come stay with me and we'll step back a little bit? You what? Enjoying watching. What? This is possible to be the two best in the game. No, you haven't seen Billy Sub. Billy Sub earned his first spot, believe me. No, he did. Mark said he everybody surprised. He went through everybody. He beat Tim. He beat Gowdy. He beat. Uh, I forget half of this. He went through Will. He went through everybody. Yeah. Okay, we missed the first point from. It's the second set, first game. Tim's already scored. It's 1 0, 2 0. Okay. Um, this is that same guy that you were looking at at the end of the other set that was just babbling, like I have all this wonderful insight, which I really don't, but, you know, I can, I can, I'm not doing any harm by, by talking about it, so I'm just going to babble. Three, uh, three zero ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 3-1, I think, Tim. 3-2. 3-2, Tim. 
there is uh, some, some validity in that, that concept of kind of the, I don't know, you know, maybe that's what just, just kind of works for me. And like I said, I'm not Will's caliber player, but uh, defensively, I think I have more luck than, uh, than, than Tim. Tim certainly had the first set. 4-2, uh, Tim. And there is something that kind of interactive, uh, uh, aggressive defense, uh, I think. Just the, the nature of 4-3, uh, uh, Tim. The nature of Will's, you know, Will Shy's his selection. It, it just it appears so chaotic and random, even even when he is setting you up, manipulating you. Four four. That uh, it's. Well, I don't know. I probably don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, it's purely subjective. I mean, it's it's my my interpretation of what I'm doing on the table. Five four ten. Um, which probably has no validity for anybody else, so I'll shut up about that. It's a cool term, though, interactive, aggressive defense. Uh, will not puck off, backhand left wall, over. It's 5 4 10. Cross straight, 6 4 10. I say he botched it because he, he uh, powered his way to the first set so clearly that it uh, doesn't look like he's, he's, it looks like he kind of abandoned that particular shot. I'm not talking about this whole game, and so it's probably real. I'm not saying he, should, he botched that because he abandoned some of the subtleties of delivery there. Um, inc including the timing on it. Tim is just dominating possession this game. Will's putt. That was nice. 6-5, Tim. Tim's puck, 6-5. There it is. 7-5, uh, Tim, first game. It was a nice shot, but I'm sure the camera didn't pick up a very good angle on it. to say it, man. It, it's kind of weird that it happened so early, but it looks like uh, I'm sure it's not a permanent condition, but it looked like Will mentally kind of already uh, got goosed a little bit, you know? Got, um, he uh, just just drifted the, the first possession of the second, ga uh, second game this set uh, away. Lost some really lame possessions. And and then kind of made a joke off losing possession off a, uh, 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 an off the table shot. That was really weird. Now, now, um, so he's overly frustrated with himself. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's maybe that, if that's his mode. I wasn't at the international, so I really don't know what characterizes the the will dragon mode. Uh, it's three three right now though. Six 
certainly at least the uh, balance of power has shifted to uh, a little bit more equal state here. Uh, we got uh, two guys engaged in <laughs> kind of a constant exchange of, of scoring. Um, as opposed to the, the final, the last four games of the first set, which was just steamrolling, 7-2, 7-2, boom, boom. 6-4, boom. It was, uh, oh, a oh, right well off the back of his mallet. Uh, really, really cool angle. Yeah, cool angle. See, I know this sounds really stupid, all this talk I'm doing here, okay? But I've listened to a lot of tapes that Mark have done. Phil have done and stuff, and it doesn't sound any dumber than that. I mean, there's some stupid stuff on these tapes. I mean, basically, when you get a mic in your hand and you're watching and you're watching a match for like four hours, your brain just kind of just turns off. He's like brain dead, you know. It's like just like not having oxygen or something. You're oxygen deprived or something. So, I think it's six six right now. It's Will's possession though, because he just got the score on, scored on. So. at that off the back of the mallet right wall with the cool angle. See, isn't that prophetic that I that I mentioned that shot for no particular reason, and then it finishes that game. Um, hold on. Yo, Andrew, what's the game count? 1-1. One, one. All right, stand by. Okay, third game, second set. It's 1-1. One, one. Damn, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Hockey player next to me by the name of Krishna. To see what, as a, as a spectator, who's then actively participate in the sport, what his thoughts are on, on the activities here. 2 0 Tim. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Gary, for that uh, warm introduction. Uh, I know nothing about air hockey, but hopefully, with uh, Gary's commentary, I can uh, pursue my uh, air hockey studies further. Thank you. In the great tradition of air hockey, nothing but a load of shit. 3-0, Tim. That was a, kind of a sliding off-speed. Um, power straight to the cut side. Jesus, that was that was nice, too. Tim's definitely got, uh, it looks like he's getting some focus here, and some confidence. Uh, it's 4-0, Tim. Something he was definitely lacking in the first set. You know, um, Will talks about that the, the f wisdom floating around in the air hockey community is... Uh, shy away from the right wall overs on him because if you miss him you're screwed and that sort of thing and I don't know who, who all thinks that but apparently uh, he said Don James uh, was very reluctant to shoot him and such I noticed something interesting in the international Tim played well second game third game second game Tim does six over the mountains Flat out misses most of them, scores one. Three unders, all three unders score, okay? In the third game, six right well over the mountains. Uh, first four miss, he shoots three unders, they score. Will corrects for the under, and then the two overs score. Um, the interesting thing is there's only, you know, only 20 right walls in the course of the set, or, I'm sorry, in the course of those two games. Which, I don't know, it could be Tim, 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 I mean, Will recognizes Tim's threat of that, it being his old attack and his old stuff. And um, just accordingly, maybe they're difficult to score with. But uh, I've always thought that the most difficult shot to get on Tim was the backhand, I mean, to get on Will was the backhand left fall under. The over, if done at medium speed, goes in on, like, everybody in the world. So 
That's a nice one, but not that. Uh, <laughs> that's a backhand left behind. <laughs> It looks like now, now both of them are playing pretty high caliber play now. This is this is much better than the first set. Anyway, I was saying I was saying some stupid shit about this. What was I saying? Um, yeah, there seemed to have been kind of a uh, his his right walls were pretty scarce, is what I was saying. And um, you know, it, it's like all the top players now seem to be drifting towards the cross straight backhand left wall attack. And uh, awesome attack, wonderful attack. I mean, it's a strong point of uh, right now the top two players in the world, uh, Will and Billy. But um, against Will, I think um, you know, I, I still think a good, a good, uh, well executed right wall under, right wall over, uh, with a power cut, kind of the old traditional, you know, standby is. Uh, very effective, pro probably more effective than uh, the backhand left wall and the cross straight combo. He's he's always attentive to the cross straight, and the uh, and the left wall under is very difficult to get on. I gotta shut up now because we gotta conserve time, and, and I'm just saying like completely pointless stuff that everybody's probably gonna push the mute button on. Use watch. We missed the first point that Will scored on Tim, so it is one to one. Um, fourth game, second set. Tim's leading two games to one, and it's two to one, Tim now. Tim, the first set experienced much of what I often experience against Will, that Will initially comes on very, very strong, uh, like a juggernaut, four casting costs, colorless casting costs, artifact creature, five power, three toughness. And, um, you know, it just took a, a set of being at the, at the receiving end of that to, uh, to find the, you know, the, the, the confidence, uh, because, to mount a yes. 65 will to mount a um you know to bring out you know what I'm saying yeah anyway yeah because it initially comes on so strong it makes your head spin I mean you never really have time to figure out what the hell you're doing you're just uh, trying to slow it down slow down the scoring it's 6-6. Six, six. No! Tim's got possession. No <laughs> exchange three times so far. 6-6. Six, six. Will's possession. This is the fourth possession exchange. 6-6, six, six, very important game for Will psychologically. You know, he doesn't want to have Tim a 3-1 lead. That's going to suck. Uh, this Oh, that was a good shot. It was back in left wall under. Really nice angle. It was, uh... Hold on. Good shot, huh? Yeah, I, I think it was actually Gary. I there you go, see? That's a good shot. Yeah. That's Krishna. Yo, ho. Andy, you got anything to say? 
No. Well, okay, it's, it's uh, three games to one, Tim, right? Yep. Yeah, in fact, uh, oh, oh, this is weird. Okay, the first set, it was Will won, then Tim won one game, and then Will won the next three, so it's 4 1. And this one, Tim won the first one, then Will won the second one, 7 6, just like the first set. And then so far, Tim has won the next two, three wins the next two. It's almost an exact, you know, inversion of the first set. The next one, I'm sorry. It's almost an exact inversion of, of the. See, what would I do without, you know, my, my, my co uh, uh, guy here, correspondent, whatever you want to call it? You know, it'd be an exact inversion of the first set. That'd be cool. Wait, what was that, Captain? <laughs> uh, never mind. Sports competition to bring out the pettiness in man, as well as the nobility and greatness. Yeah. You really see the passion and will, the focus uh, in this event. Don't you agree? Yeah. What? Gee, thanks, Gary. <laughs> Observation. Uh, if during the set that will beat him 4 0 in the international, um, Will did score an off a surprising number of right wall unders. And they were very well executed, but um, I, don't, I was just surprised at the number he scored, um, at least percentage wise. Um, and uh, it, that doesn't seem to be the case here. In fact, uh, at least this set, these last few games, uh, Tim's, Tim's sound was stopping that. Uh, Although, although Will does, does seem to be holding it more in reserve than anything, he hasn't he used that much. No, it's an over. Um, in fact, Will's right walls altogether have just kind of been uh, neutralized. That's interesting to know, just because uh, this incredible success he had with the right walls, uh, that said at the International.
Will, ha hmm. Will has lost his present number of possessions in, in attempting that uh, off speed uh, cross straight. Perhaps worthwhile. I don't know what his uh, what he's thinking. Uh, but he has lost a lot of possessions on it. Tim has completely, completely stopped the right wall over. Um, Will persist in using that and using the the cross straight and the off speed cross straight, which From Will, so that's the most. What was it the most uninspired fucking air hockey I've ever seen, or most uninspired air hockey I've ever fucking seen? Anyway, I'd like to see that in a future issue of Table Talk. It's uh, now one set apiece. Four one the f uh, first set. Will four one second set. Ten. And uh, here we go. Check out the sheet. Look at this. Okay. See that? Look, it's an inversion almost. Outside the fact that. Uh, Will did outscore Tim in the first set uh, compared to the second set. But look at that. That's an inversion. That's cool. Anyway. Insightful commentary, but it's a sacrifice, I suppose. Okay, third set.
shot. And as I was charging, I was and move back. So whether you know, I wasn't close enough to see the line, so. Yeah, it's up to you, Gary. I thought he was over. So well, I thought I thought he was over. Okay, well, I didn't think it was over. I think I did it Stop this. Are you in the shadow room? You know, me too. Oh, yeah, this is important. So, yeah, they're not calling the line at all. That's fine. Right. You thought it was over here? Dude, from this angle, I don't know. I know, and I hadn't even gotten close to the line. Yeah, I
Stand back in.
two two.
interesting add on this is that uh, I mean, there's no money involved here. In fact, Tim had to come here on his own. He was going to Georgia. And um, so this is more than I mean, he, the number two ranking is, is uh, very respected. Yeah. I've competed on a national and international level. So I mean, Marksmanship. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Are you an archer? Yeah. 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 Archer was his mother's maiden. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the, you know, you, you, don't, get in the you, you don't want me shooting at you with any kind of gun or any kind of bow. Like well, they, they, well, I get away from you, but you could call it a narrow escape. <laughs> <laughs> I had to work that one so
Okay, we're in the fourth game of the fourth set. It's 1-0 Will, 2-0 Will. Here's what the, the sheet looks like so far. Okay, it's 2-1 Will. Uh, we just had a bit of a controversy over whether to use a single, single tape or a double tape. Uh, Tim thinks it's flying too much. Three one will. Uh, will, will leads two games to one this set, and he's got this one five one so far. Um, The big score shot for both players is, are the left walls. Um, I don't know about a distinction between the over and unders. The left walls seem to be the big, the big scores really for both players. Um, but this uh, sporadically, Tim's uh, using a lot more, you know, more right option than he was earlier, and they, and they seem to be scoring because he's hitting them. I think he's catching. Them. I don't know. See, I'm completely to that point right now where I have just watched. It's 8.20 right now, okay. Let's see, I've been here since 5. They started by 5.30, so I watched about three hours of air hockey. And I feel like just like, just like freaking out and going out and running around. They double taped it. Tim rudely interrupted me. I was in the midst of talking about uh, my, uh oh yeah, okay. See, I've like played a few challenge matches and I've roughed a few challenge matches. And for me, because of the adrenaline you get on the table, it is far more exhausting to sit and watch this damn thing than it is to play this damn thing. Oh, see, okay, now Tim is either using, Tim's using a little bit of, he's got, check out the wristband there, see? Huh? Could that be an attempt at a visual distraction there? Or do you think maybe his wrist just is sweating a lot? What could it be? Or he needs to keep it warm. I wonder, see, if he does a circle drift a lot, we know he's attempting hypnosis on Will. See, that's his, that's his eye catcher, and he's going to try to hypnotize Will. It's two on Tim. Sitting here talking to this mic kind of reminds me of the rebroadcast I listened to of, uh, the re-airing of the 1938 Orson Welles does War of the Worlds, you know? And you get uh, Professor Pierce, I believe is the guy's name, you know, holed up in a shack someplace thinking he's the only guy on Earth. Feels like that, you know? Um, Orson Welles is Professor Pierce holed up in a shack watching the aliens massacre the remainder of humanity. When will the bacteria get him? I could find a reprieve if their vending machine had Malin's bars, but it doesn't. It's the only candy I like other than Twizzlers. 6-3, Tim. 7-3, Tim. It is now three games to two. Will?
did it in the first place? I mean, can't you? Uh, you know, Simulation, about half the points in this entire match, and, and the, uh, the two points that Will responded with uh, to, to bring it up after each of Tim's scores. Case in point, half the points in this in this match are scored immediately. You know, they're uh, counter punches scored immediately after being scored upon by either opponent. More so for Will, and that's his nature. But uh, in both cases, uh, about half the points. Just thought I'd say that. Four to three. new thing I had on here. Okay, I, I've just been talking to myself for like, you know, forever. Uh, what did you say? Is Tim coming back? I didn't catch that interesting talk about. Um, yeah, it's three games to two will. Tim's pairs appears to be, in the, he's in the lead on this game, five to three. If he wins this game, he'll be tied three games to piece in the fourth set, which basically, yeah, he's coming back from a three-one deficit. This set, then it'll come down to one game. If Will wins the game, he'll have a three-one set lead. If Tim wins it, then he'll have uh, the, the next game, then he'll have a, it'll be tied two to two. And uh, we pretty much, you know, where they started, just a shorter match. So. so. But Will still has two sets. Yeah, it's, yeah. And he has two sets. No, he has one. If he wins this, if he wins this, this, uh, this game and then the next game, he'll have two sets. If he, if he wins this game, whoever wins the next one, this game, he's going to gain a set. Uh, okay. Uh, if Tim gets it to the tie, if Will gets it, he'll have a three-one lead. So Will needs two more sets. To yeah, and if uh, Tim needs three, but this is the uh, second to the last game of this fourth set. Okay. Is he allowed to put his hand on the other side of the like that? Where? Well. Oh, you can put your hand anywhere as long as it doesn't contact the puck. Uh, you yeah. know? Block the goal or something. But you can put it on the table if you want, as long as you take it off before the puck gets in. As long as it's on your side. So that little line in the middle means nothing? The line in the middle? No, that, that's very important. You uh, can't put your mallet faster? Yeah, you can't put your you can't hit the puck. It's uh, three games apiece, four set. Will's got a 2 1 set lead.
funny thing is, as far as attack goes, both players are using roughly the same attack. Um, I mean, in so far, in, in so far as shot selection goes, uh, timing, uh, drift patterns are roughly the same too, but but timing um, and approach, of course, are different. Nice power straight. I don't know why I bothered saying that, but it's the same kind of thing that Phil and Mark always say when they're sitting there just watching it going on, for lack of anything else to say. And because when you're watching the tape, it's always good rather than having just dead air. It's, it's five five, uh, seventh game, fourth set. Yeah. There's about five or six possession changes. Okay, Will does a sliding uh, uh, power straight to the to the you know to like the other side, like yeah, that side you don't normally shoot to. Six five, and Will just got possession. Glad to see Tim get possession back on that one because there's an iffy call there. And uh, I have to say I was inclined to agree with Tim a bit. But uh, seeing as how I'm so far over here, I didn't want to complicate the thing. 7-5, Will wins in the seventh game. It's now three sets to one Will. But if Tim wins it, then we get a long list. That's so weird. We'll have another three sets if you just hit him out of the building. I might have gone four and then go for the second.
sake of uh, brevity, huh? <laughs>
All right, uh, I've just returned to find that Tim 70 and Subbit Ford will. Uh, sort of surprising, considering the set count, 3-1. Uh, so here's the third game. We'll see what happens. I guess they're playing with that same puck. Uh, Tim's being stubborn. Rather than admit he made a mistake by forgetting to bring sandpaper or good pucks, he's going on with doing everything but sanding the puck or replacing it double taping it, which they did during the last set, I believe. If you uh, in the audience on TV aren't aware of it, we had some uh, celebrity guests earlier from Tornado Table Sports who are planning to make an air hockey table. 2 2-0-10, uh, We had Dave Corrington and Ed McLeod. Came to watch the match and uh, see how the game is played, which they've already seen, but uh, wanted to see this match and talk to us a little bit. And so uh, they left about uh, a set ago. Nice drifting cross straight. I, I can't quite figure what, how, how come Tim is. Uh, Jose Morris shot, but not done the way Jose does it. Nice opportunistic stuff by Tim. I don't know if Tim like took some carbos or just got his back to the wall and got inspired here, but. And he's kicking that left wall under it. Just doesn't seem like he's doing that much different. It seems like Will's not up on defense. And Tim's not letting him into the game. So that when Will gets the puck, he's uh, tentative. 6-1. 6-2. Huh. That was a thrashing so far. I mean, it's 21 to 6 this uh, set so far in points. It's like the Tim of old and his opponents of old. So, will Will tank the set? We shall see. You beat somebody in games once. This round, you beat somebody in games once. Yeah. Gary, are you ready? Sir, let's go. Okay, we're back for the fourth game. It is 3-0 Tim, this set. And he jumps off to 1-0 lead. Wills just seems ineffective. You know, sometimes you have a set where you're just sort of dead meat. And then you come back. And uh, if you have the luxury of having one of those sets, uh, sometimes you can come back from it. I know I've had them. Sort of where everything goes wrong for you. Uh, 2-0 Tim now in the fourth game of the set. is flying way too much. I would never play with a puck, uh, first of all, that new, that heavy, and that flying. Ooh, nice shot. Three to one. Beautiful uh, patented 
Tim Foran Bank, 4-1. 4-2. Well, I don't think Will is tanking this set, but uh, despite what it may look like, I think uh, he's just going to get his ass kicked this set. 5-2. He's softly throwing the puck away. Seven three. Kiss that. Say goodbye. Twenty-eight to nine. Twenty-eight to nine. It's an average of seven to an average of two point two point uh, two five. And we will return. The question is, will will return? Uh, six set. Who leads three to three to two? But that's it. What? That was a doozy. I don't care. It was uh, twenty-eight points to nine. Seven zero seven four seven two seven three. Tim. I didn't notice a whole lot of difference in his shot selection. He scored a little more with the cross trade than he was earlier. I think. He uh, scored a lot more forehands. That's true. Most of it looked to me though like he's just you know stopping well and uh, and timing on his offense. Yeah, that was the thing. His shot selection looked roughly the same to me, but I don't know, you know. What timing on his offense, so Jesus, the timing of his offense was uh, much improved. It's pretty amazing, actually. Anyway, it's 1 0 Will. We'll see what happens here. This is a deciding set. Um, yeah, this could be the end of it, or it could be tied up. Two zero Will. There's weed and shutter crackers, man. These things suck. Two zero. Well. Third one. Throwing a lot more straights than, 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 than Banks this time. But, uh, and he's, he's definitely, he's got possession this game. Um, where the hell is that superb timing that Tim had on offense earlier? It was making shots work that uh, weren't working earlier. Too well. Five three. See what's happening now is he's not using the same timing that he used earlier. He's what he's doing is he's, he's volleying with Will kind of. 
It's always happening to look for openings, you know, when he was out of position to score. Instead of using the, uh, the setup and the time that he had earlier, that last set. It's a world of difference. I mean, this, this looks more like a volley. This is completely different. Mm. Six four will in third possession. Seven four will. Sorry. Two zero Tim. It's been a, a, a cut, kind of, kind of like a power cut in uh, cross street. And two zero Tim. See, this, it, he's playing this one definitely a lot better than the last one. So you can't get in kind of the volley flow. This uh, will chases and interferes and gets position far better if you maintain kind of a, if you get into a, a, a pace and a time and it has some continuity to it, some consistency, um, so you can get a beat on it. Um, it doesn't really matter which slow or fast, but it has to have some consistency to it. If, you, if you're changing up a lot, timing wise, and you measure your shots and that sort of thing, calculator, then even even slow things will drift right back to you. Um, you won't get a piece of them. You know, most people don't realize that. They, they haven't, haven't played them until ad nauseum like, like I have. Uh, I think it's 5 3, Tim. <laughs> Point 3, Tim. That was, was, was nice. It's a shot that's been scoring for him a lot these last, last, last six games if he uses it. Uh, but, you know, of course he has to calculate the use of it. It's one game apiece, Mark wanted... Uh, one game apiece, six set. Mark wanted to note that uh, this is the... probably the only challenge match in air hockey history that actually got underway before the scheduled starting time. that they've got the ego playing instead of the edge because damned if the edge doesn't get completely sick. Got those little 110 pound bad hair black paint face white you're listening to edge freaks with the, the baggy clothes and god that makes me nauseous. 
Eagle's got a better mix. It's not the Eagle of old, not the Eagle of 86, 87, when it was truly a station. But, uh, yeah, a better mix. That was a nice get. That too was another authoritative possession, uh, um, something. That was nice. It was a, a kind of slider, kind of the old Will Billy Stubbs kind of slider. Only it was, you know, it was a, it was a straight kind of like cross. But boy, oh, Tim's got possession now. I'll tell you that. Which is good because the more Will gets to mess with the fuck, the more he gets a rhythm. You know, I mean, uh, he can pop shots and he can pop and score without a whole lot of activity, you know, a lot of. But uh, he gets, the more he gets to manipulate the fuck, the more he gets to lower rhythm and feels in control. If he doesn't have possession, you know, outside of the obvious deficit of not having possession, he loses his sense of uh, authority and control on the fuck. And, uh, yeah, I think it undermines you know, his confidence more so than it might with, with another player. Yeah? Why do they keep saying their name? What? Why do they keep saying their names? Come on, years on the ground. Why do they keep saying their names? Why do they say their names? Whose names? Tim says Tim and Will says Tim. I think it's saying that ego is the size of like taxes and uh... It's their way of saying, hey, get it together, you fucked up. So they're actually talking to you. Exactly. It's like yeah. saying, damn it, damn it. Yeah. What? 6-4. Yeah. 6-4, Timothy. stupid. <laughs> he thought after that high pace volley that the uh, fast pace volley that the speed change up would, would throw him off the cluster and but, uh, you know, um, Tim was way too far out to try that straight. Seven four, it's two games to one, Tim in the six set.
Who would have thought? Okay, you got these here. Austin quality wheat and cheddar crackers. Crispy wheat crackers with cheddar cheese. Real cheddar cheese, baked with pride. Okay, but they have 10 grams of fat for the crackers. And they don't give you any cheese. It's just like to entice you. It's just dangling the carrot on the stick, you know, in front of that sort of thing. And then we got the Funyuns over here that my colleague here got. And uh, now these things, five grams of fat for a whole package, okay? You get, you get, you get three quarters of an ounce. Let's see how many you get of these crackers. You get, uh, oh, I don't know, you, you like the crackers, you know? And uh, the Funyuns, he tells me tastes reasonably good with only five grams of fat and the wheat and cheddar tastes like shit. What 10 grams of fat. The name wheat is designed to deceive you into believing you're healthy, but these Funyuns are onion flavored rings. They're like fried onion rings. And they're actually healthier. You know? I, that's interesting. It's, uh, if the score is correct, it's 4 3, Will. Do you think the uh, air hockey uh, audience. <laughs> you have not met the air hockey community. Yes, indeed, they would. Bill Arnold, one of the top air hockey players, has been on Larry King and Nightline and so on. Uh, for, with regards to Keith Keen, and uh, with, regards to that, uh, with regards to David Crush, he's named by Crush to read his manuscript. He's got uh, a PhD in cult studies. And, uh, and he has uh, a cult studies. Uh, cult studies. Yeah. Yeah, uh, oddly he's enough. He's a national champion. I don't know. He's always been in the top five. He's been in the finals. No, he hasn't. He's got the distinction of having been in the finals at least once every single decade, meaning at least second place, and having never won. But uh, he's in his late 40s, and he's been in the top 10 for six of all but one tournament for 20 some odd years, uh, I believe. Um, yeah, he's got this little religious. Uh, he's got this. Um, this little religious kind of, I don't know what it is, it's kind of like this little, it's this building that's just dedicated to uh, having a bunch of fun Come up and hang out with him. And then he's also got 6'5", uh, by the way. Loss of mouth there, point didn't count. Anyway, um, and he's uh, also, uh, oh, he's got this, this uh, Civil War movement. They actually, it's, I mean, they actually dress up in a, I, I saw, I saw a clip of it. Yes, we actually dressed up in a a meeting and that sort of thing, uh, had, had a meeting. He's, uh, believes in, uh, you know, he's the, the ultimate for states' rights, and he believes in the South, and so on. It's, it's a, lot of, a lot of very eccentric activities, in my, in my opinion, very eccentric, but, uh, interesting guy, I'm sure that would be right up right up the alley man right up the alley um it's videotaped it's available uh, through uh through the newsletter to any hockey players who want to buy one and then um you know if hopefully you know if you're connected you can like make seven five ten uh three to one in the sixth set you can you can make oh. ten one yeah seven five oh, you, you can make your own uh um make your own uh uh, tapes, you know, like right now, Will, uh, Tim brought some tapes up, and I brought some coax cables over to Will's, and we're making uh, copies of all the tapes of the international. Otherwise, you gotta like buy them. Uh, if you're like, uh, so it's just the air hockey community. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. We got um, unless and you just turn that off. Okay, it's 3-1, Tim. We're on the sixth set. It was 7-4, Will, the first game. Now, it was 7-2, 7-4, 7-5, 10. Um, looks like, you know, if Tim was just in the way, he's got a 4-1 win this one, preceded by a 4-0 win the previous set, which does not look good because it looks like, you know, that, that's that's some momentum. And uh, it'll bring him to the seventh set. Uh, could be, you know, a, uh, a three-set, I mean, uh, a three-set comeback from Tim. Uh, the way it's looking. That's a nice cross shape. Uh, it's two to two.
a nice shot. It's uh, three two or four two, something like that. Um, it looks, I don't know. Like to, uh, Will seems more energetic, but but controlled at the same time than, than the previous game. Um, Working a lot of shots off the back of his mallet. Uh, he's working the banks off the back of his mallet, the right walls, like that one. Uh, medium speed, kind of off speed, right wall off the back of his mallet. And he's working the straights, both uh, cross and power, off the back of his mallet. Like that one. That was a sweet fucking shot. It's 6 3 Will. Um, Six four. What does that say? Timothy D. Wise, Miyazaki, Buddy Omar. That's on his goal guard. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, looks like Tim's brought it back up to uh, six, six five. That was Will's possession, I believe. It looked like a sideways motion to me. Um, that may be no question to you, the viewer, but uh, Tim looked questioningly, questioningly, inqui inquisitively. Okay, I'll put it that way. At uh, Edmar, about the call. It'll be something if Tim can, uh, can, can win this game. Yeah, that was, uh, I think, the first time he effectively used that shot that game, so it was well chosen. 7-5, uh, Will. All right. So now three games to two, Tim. Yeah, that was uh, some sweet shot selection on Will's part. That, uh, that backhand left ball had not been used at all. He'd been working off the uh, his right side. We've been working with, uh, with sliding straights, a few cross straights, and, and a lot of right walls off the back of the mallet. And, uh, and then, and then... Oh, you want me to turn it off? Yeah, nobody watches in between games. Uh, there we go. Are you talking to Danny or me? Uh. Okay, it's a uh, six game. Six set. One zero. Um, Will starts it off with uh, the backhand left wall, a shot that he had almost completely neglected last game, um, but, but finished last game off with him. That was that was a sliding power straight. Um, that and, and the, the off of the back of the mat, and it, there it is again, man. There is that shot. That in the right wall, executed mostly over the mallet, off the back of the mallet. Uh, big scores for him last game. Seem to be working for him now, giving him some of the flow. You know, it's a change up from the uh, predominantly back and left wall cross straight attack they've been using the majority of this match. Shot has become a big money shot for him. Uh, power straight, the side, the back of the mallet. He's got three this game so far. Got several last game. Um, he's not using the right wall off the same motion, which, uh, which we'll probably see it later this game, um, at game point.
was something similar to that. Um, what's the right wall? I did predict the right wall. Okay, okay, we're off, man. Okay, we're on. It's the seventh game of the sixth set. This, this, could, this could be a match game. Or the start is the seventh, seventh set. Um, as I was saying earlier, the uh, last two games that Will did to bring this comeback were classic examples of kind of an, you know, an attack and setup. Um, the game preceding the last, he uh, worked, worked the right side. He was working uh, the, uh, the straight and, um, and the right walls and uh, coming off the back of the mallet and, you know, really getting Tim's orientation, uh, really fo manipulating Tim's orientation on that side of the table, that, that area of attack. Holding in reserve the shot that had been dominant for the first part of the match, which is backhand left wall and using that to score. He opens the next game with that same shot and uh, then proceeds to focus the attack on that with a power straight shot early off the drift with approaching the left, uh, the back and left wall, and then finishing it off as I predicted with the right wall. Um, just, uh, just kind of a reversal of the previous, uh, the previous game. Looks like uh, Will has this game. This is his, uh, the big moment for Will. I think it looks like he's gonna do it. That's my prediction uh, based on uh, my psychic, uh, especially uh, powerful uh, psychic feelings. Go ahead. It might also have something to do with the fact that Will is up a set and winning 4-2. Um, <laughs> yeah, it does look pretty favorable for Will. Um, it's 4-3. See, Tim's looking for that cross straight, but it looks... Hmm. It's anybody's, but uh, it looks good for Will. Okay, it's five to five. Two points decided either way. It's anybody's. Oh shit! Just the perfect time to have a controversial call. <sighs> Okay, we have an overcall. We have an overcall against Will. Um, Will protests it, but it is very possible because with Will's height, his stature, his arm reach, and the nature of his game, it, it, it happens more than he's willing to admit. And it was a score off that possession, so it's 6-5, so that call uh, could just lead us to another set. If Will pulls this game out, then uh, he sure as hell earned it. it. was a little too obvious from Will's point of view. I think he's uh, disturbed by the call and the score. Poor choice. See, the Will's trying to cram it down his throat now. He's not, he's not thinking. None of that, none of that subtlety and finesse we saw earlier, accompanied with power, executed with power. He's just, he's just trying to cram it down his throat. He needs an extra point. He knows it. Yeah, 10 minutes of psychological edge now. Oh, that was in and out. That was an old one-night stand right there. God, oh man, a chase, a ricochet, a double chase, followed by probably a, a accidental double bank. No one shoots a forehand double bank on purpose. And it's now, uh, that was a 7-5 Tim, so we're now into, uh, into the seventh set. Okay, well, get back to you when the set starts. Unless Mark's got anything to say. Oh, I'd like to go back and maybe look at that, uh, at that over the line call.
Yeah. 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 But I, I was pretty sure he was. That's so, fine. I mean, yeah. I'll go by what you say. I just, I mean, I charge all the time. I know. And I go over the line, of course, but they're, they're you charge early. early. And <laughs> what happened was, I mean, it's sort of surprising because you were, it was, the puck hadn't gone on the line yet. And that's why, that's why I think he goaltended because he didn't even, you know, he hadn't even done his shot yet. Like, you charged before he even got to the puck. That's why I was complaining about a couple of steps earlier. I hadn't even got like he had drifted. Got close to shooting and you charged and hit yeah. the puck. And I'm like, no, how could you not be over the line? That I was the only one the that I saw. Well, the only other one, when he called it, I saw that clearly in this one. But the other ones, he wasn't over, and so, you know, that I could see. The other close stuff has been is when he goes out with his mallet to trap the puck, and a lot of those are very close, but I didn't see any clearly over. Yeah. You know, but I was trying to watch it. But see, you charged, and he was approaching the puck, and you actually hit it before it hit the line. I mean, that's how I saw it. But I always think he shot it, right? <laughs> yeah, no, he hadn't even touched it. Because how could I charge one? That's the question we asked. Right, yeah. yeah. There's the shot. Divine inspiration. All right, here we are, seventh set. Tim barely got away with that last set. Coming back from a 5-3 deficit, getting benefit of a uh, line call, correct one, if I may say. And some uh, tightening up by Will, apparently. So here we are in the seventh set. This is it. Will Will tighten up? Will Will get the burst of energy and, and do his juggernaut steamroller routine? Will Tim be able to keep up his uh, powerful banks around and drifts and the other stuff he's been doing? Well, that was a nice indication. 1-0, Tim. I'm going to go shadow the line. I'll be back.
I'm not really on your desk, but I'm not better at calling you, but I just act like that. Yeah. I mean, I call more than that. See, that's the thing. You can get away with making a call and irritating somebody without a bunch of arguments going on. Well, because you're establishing your own view. Wait a minute. really interesting. Okay, Will has a big problem with my line calls. However, when we were watching tapes of the International, his biggest complaint was when he was roughing Dowdy and Billy Stubbs, Dowdy kept complaining about his line calls, and he kept saying how wrong Dowdy was. Dowdy claimed Will made like six erroneous line calls, and uh, he's talking about how much of a, of a whiner and jerk Dowdy was for doing that. Um, rather than just respecting the, the judge's call. And now he's doing the same thing to me. It smells like hypocrisy to me. Anyway, the first game went to Tim, 7-4. Some five. Just one game apiece. Seven seven.
watching it on tape, so it's going to be the record that uh, we're going to watch it. Forehand cut from Tim is a shot we haven't seen much this entire match. I wonder if that means something. I mean, I wonder if it's uh, uh if it's just he just considers an opportunity shot, shot sporadically, or or if there's you know if if it's lack of use is, is if there's a point for it. Um, if it's holding it in reserve or something for one extra thing. He certainly has been told out with the forehand left well, so. Uh, uh, pulling that cut out initially, you know, might be uh, an idea. Although, although um, I think myself and Will and Will tells me Billy are in agreement that um, it's a poor uh, strategy to mount any offense on the basis of forehands. But uh, forehands are more appropriately reserved for opportunity shots. Looks like that was probably just an aberrant shot. Um, just an opportunity shot and took it. Uh, sticking pretty much with, with what's done in the last two sets. Audience is geared to, but if it's the under 17 audience, I guess I have to edit that one out. Okay. Off speed sliding straight is the uh, shot I predict that if it comes down where Will's got game point possession, at least a one point lead, or perhaps even at 6-6, six, six, I don't know. Um, he, he goes going to compel him to attempt that shot to finish it. Uh, because it would be, admittedly, um, pretty poetic. Scoring for well, very well for him, anyway. 6-5, well... Sorry. 
just added a third dimension to the game. Six six. Wolf's possession. Yeah! Oh my god, a flubbed one. That's that's hard to see. Okay, we missed the first two points of the uh, fourth game, seventh set, and I missed them too because I was in conversation. So, uh, but it's one to one. You caught it? No, you didn't. I thought it tapes or not. Well, uh, I'm sure they were good, okay, because they like both scored. <laughs> there wasn't an exchange. It was like shot, shot. So, yeah, just picture what's been happening. There it is. Hmm. Tim's being real aggressive on those backhand left walls. Uh, he's going into him. Um, hope, I assume as a deterrent, or maybe he's found that's the most efficient way to block him. It might be as you know, coming up to where the angle's coming in, rather than trying to uh, determine whether it's over or under. Uh, of course, naturally, it's going to serve as a deterrent too, uh, to be that aggressive defensively against the shot. Three, one, ten. An unforced error. Sweet four, and I think it crossed, but uh, honestly, I didn't quite catch it. Whoa. Well, Tim soundly gonna tie it up to two to two. Oh, yeah, there's that foreign cut I was talking about. That's uh, seven two. Head to head. Seven two in the fourth game so now we're at 2-2 two, two. i think what it's going to come down to here is a battle of who has the most energy left that's what i believe yeah. uh we, we need to get in front of the camera so tim won't fast forward through no, it's okay, tim. They can watch you, you, know. you know but i mean you know tim, tim okay but i think whoever has the, the energy left to really do their game the next three games is sort of what it's going to come down to because they're both playing great at at, at times and yeah. um, unless unless w Will tightens up, but I don't think he will, and I, don't, I know Tim won't tighten up. <coughs> By tighten up, I mean choke up. Right, right, right. <coughs> um, Gary Morgan who refuses to. Well, you know, I've been talking to you guys like off camera for like, you know, a couple hours here. Um, you know, I have particulars to say about uh, about the, the particular actions as far as. Um, Tim's very aggressive defense of the left wall, the backhand left wall. Um, I think maybe it's, it, he determines it, you know, it's easier to come into the angle, come to the intersection point, rather than try to determine whether it's an over or under. And it also serves as a deterrent for that shot, so maybe that's that's the case there. What are you talking about? Um, he's blocking the, the way the way he's no the way he's blocking the backhand left wall. The way he's blocking the backhand left wall is. Uh, Okay, this, this, this is Tim asking for handouts. Here's getting, getting uh, rude of you, man. Good. Okay, it's the uh, fifth game, seventh set. 
Uh, Mark and I were trying to say something to the camera in between games, but uh, uh, like we'll cut the camera off and that was just rude. Anyway, Mark was of the opinion that uh, it's simply a matter of they're, they're both playing well. Um, he knows Tim doesn't choke. Uh, as long as Will keeps his head together, it's going to be a matter of, you know, who's got the energy level to stay precise. Uh, get that one extra possession, you know, that, that critical block uh, that make the difference. I mean, uh, it looks like it's going to go down to seventh game. Energy level might be a factor in the precision of hitting too, which uh, with the puck flying, you know, I, as, as it is, um, which is not real bad, but you know, it's, yeah, it was fairly frequent. Um, then, you know, if if if, if, if the hitting gets a little choppy, if the hitting gets a little imprecise due to energy level, then uh, that lost possession could really mean a difference, uh, both in game terms and psychologically. Two on it. Three one Tim. Tim's uh, shots certainly have not lost any precision. In fact, it uh, extremely crisp. The same can't be said of Wills at this point. Um, using the exact same time, I mean, the uh, exact same intervals for his shots right now. I mean, uh, that was nice. I mean, that was it. That was a, that was, that was it. a nice shot change. Uh, but, uh, his shot interval is pretty repetitive right now, pretty consistent, which, you know, it's, it's, it's easier to get a, get a fix on that way. And that, that's obviously a sign that, that you know, something slacking with him, maybe energy level, maybe mental. Uh, Still managing to maintain a uh, fairly equal possession. And, and his, def his defense is, is holding up fairly well. Um, Spontaneity and unpredictability, along with its um, unusual and shot selection, you know, uh, really strong points for his offense. And uh, he needs to preserve that. The last thing he needs to do is get get, get predictable, uh, repetitive, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, although he's still bearing shot selection, it's, it's, you know. It, it, his, his timing change up, so essentially uh, a player of Tim's caliber. Looks like he's getting a little bit. He's, he's playing better. Um, energy spike. Uh, now that it's four farm, it's going a little better. It's time out of five four. Uh, fifth game, so it's a. Still in the midst of a game. Okay, resuming. Oh, oh, that was uh, yeah, truthfully, it just wasn't successful. That wasn't too bad. It was just wasn't successful. The power shot was nice. It's, that's a shot. Well, then shoot a hold on.
knew that shit was coming. Hmm, I was in the seventh floor. It's now a three to two game lead in the seventh set for Tim. Three to two. Privilege. She's got this little hot body. Yeah. Whoa. It's pretty nice, too. It's one of them. That was good. Uh, two to one. Forget style, forget strategy. This is a street brawl. It's all out there. It's a matter of who wants it the most. Oh, wait, that's Rocky. Cross cut. It's a very successful shot against Will, by the way. I mean, Tim doesn't use it much, but boy, I sure use it a lot. It works really well, you know. 33. Oh, that was nice. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of like uh, just a potpourri of shots here, just a little grab ball. It's four to four. Possible match game, true believers. 5 4. Sweet, sweet forehand. His forehand's earning a lot of points for Tim. No, Will was not conceded. The table didn't score, and he felt more comfortable with the point in. Back to him. Okay. Five four. Tim's possession. It uh, got stuck in the lit. Will opted to give it back to him rather than attempt to get it out with the loss of, you know, with the point. Will's looking for that forehand. Uh, he realizes it's been a big threat. Duh, right, you know, 6-4, Tim. Match point, true believers. Oh, I couldn't see behind Mark. I thought he flubbed it on himself. Topping at 6-5. Oh, my God. Okay, got position back. Okay, 6-6, six, six, possible match point, true believers. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. What will Tim go for, man? You know, like, what's he gonna do here? Okay, he's, he's... There it was, I knew it, I knew it. I knew you got that damn forehand, man. I didn't say it, but I knew it, because I've been talking about the forehand like like a lot, you know. Oh, it was just the time, you're just popping it off, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. At the very last second, I, it just it just it went. I mean, I, I didn't even plan yeah. it, just kind of. But uh, I want to say that was a great match with Will. Uh, probably <laughs> one of the top two matches I've ever played. Um, the other one was me too. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I had a great match with Robert Hernandez once, and uh, uh, and then also one of the other ones with Will. But uh, it was great. It uh, it feels good to be able to uh, kind of dig deep and, and you know and come back a bit. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it just uh, I don't know, man. Whatever. <laughs> it was a great match. Yeah, I don't really know what to say either. I mean, 
That was probably the fastest scoring match that I've ever been a part of or, or seen. I mean, I'll, I can't wait to see the point count. Except for, I mean, except for that 28 to 9 set. That, that killed it. I was really tired. I, I, I felt like it, it was almost like, well, I'll just take an extra 15 minutes to give him a set. <laughs> I mean, it's not like that, but. Well, you had just eaten. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I know that now. That's what I said. I can't believe you're eating in the middle of a match. You know, a subway sandwich. Well, I eat like a little candy yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah. Subway sandwich. <laughs> All your blood's going out of your equipment into your I stomach, know. You know? But, uh, Gary, Gary you, made an interesting. You don't want to be in a match. Gary made an interesting comment uh, about like after the fifth set or so. He he noticed that both of us are playing the same offense, just about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> And, you know, we noticed watching the tapes that you were, like, working on that kind of offense at the tournament. It looked like you were, like, working at it at the tournament, working on it. Yeah. But your left walls weren't nearly like yeah. they were no, <laughs> th I today. Yeah. I mean, that surprised me. Yeah. Well, I got the cross straight going a, a bit, too. Yeah, a bit? Well, yeah. I mean, That's probably, I mean, that was probably, like, 50 yeah. points or, yeah. at well, least. On that and it looked like it, that last game, you'll keep, boom, four and four, and you get points. But you had a certain time interval. And you were actually doing something with him. And then Will Blocks like two or three of them. You know, um, they weren't really that great. You didn't shoot them that great. Will Blocks a couple of them. And uh, and it sort of looked like he was really paying attention. That he was going to look for it. And then you get on the table, it's and it's boom, it's just it's just popped out of there. For some reason, it seemed. Well, I thought he was. He you know, it was one or two shots. Yeah, there was yeah, there was one or two shots that I thought would finish it. You know, it was either the forehand or the oh, cross. You went. Like that. Yeah. Some kind of body shape. Yeah. 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 Now you were ready. But no. I mean, well, see that that's no, I, mean, I was ready in the game. But I just wasn't expecting him to shoot that. Then, then he hadn't shot anything yeah. that early with that yeah. kind of timing, pretty much the whole match. Yeah. I mean, well, you, you notice I did every once in a while, but yeah. That, yeah. that's a gamble. Yeah. Did, yeah. Well, the problem. Yeah. A couple of them, but that is definitely a gamble to use that shot. Yeah, that, it, if you probably, miss it just by two inches, it'll fly off. Yeah. Uh -huh, it flies true. off or it scores. That's, that's you know, very true. Much. That's very true, but. Uh, yeah, man, thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, what I was saying earlier, Mark, because I was just saying it looked like. Yeah, it looked like for a while there, I, I didn't know whether it was because it was easier to intercept, you know, to come into the interception angle on, on Will's left walls. Okay, Tim, I didn't know if it was easier to come in rather than trying to predict over or under to come out to that point or whether he was doing it as a deterrent for that shot. But now on those shots, the point is very aggressively you know, coming out to here. Maybe it's easier than determining the angle. Maybe it's determined, maybe it's both. Oh, was it working? Yes, it was. I know that's what I'm saying. It was working. Um, and I thought that was, uh, you know, worth noting, it, it seemed to me. Um, I don't want Billy on that bracket. I didn't see nearly so many of those shots scored. You know, towards the latter half. So you were yeah. ready at the end. That was almost, it was, it was very close to being questionable, but. No, it wasn't, because you called in play, and then, I mean, the puck, I don't even think the puck was on the table. Yeah, he, he drifted a little. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It, it just seemed so quick. Well, it was. <laughs> Nobody expected yeah. a shot that quick. The other thing was, well, I mean, all the ones that you thought were over the line, times in all, in all man, it was an optical illusion because what you were really reacting to emotionally was the fact that he was getting pucks that you couldn't imagine he should have got to. But they were, some weren't even close to the line. And you were, you were thinking, it, what really was shocking you was, hey, man, that puck was, see, in your own mind, you're thinking that's my puck because it should have got to me. But some of them weren't even close. And you were I, I disagree. I disagree. I think we'll that watch I, tape, well, I will watch the tape, but it's still inconclusive. The only way we could ever tell is have a, uh, a, a camera above it. I'm talking about some of. The, I'm not saying I didn't miss a few because it's very hard to, to especially sometimes his mallet was almost over the line, and, and I, I didn't call any of those because because I couldn't see clearly. But what I'm saying is a lot of times that you reacted like, oh, you know, it wasn't it wasn't even near over the line. It was just that you reacting the way anyone would because it was a puck that nobody else could have gotten right, to. Well, that, that's and fine. You, I'm, I'm not going to argue with puck. you. Yeah. 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 I, sure but it wasn't your point. puck yet. That's the point. Yeah, but, uh, point. yeah it is at this point. But I, I will say that something that we need to address more is we need to tell people and refs to look for charges that go over the line because it happens frequently. Oh, yeah. Particularly when you're doing a 6-2. It, it's, it's hard to see yeah, stature. I, mean, I know. I know. And I don't think you realize it. I mean, yeah, you're I just going for the puck. I, know in practice I really don't mean don't. to go yeah. over the line no. ever. Well, I pull nobody back. does no. ever. Yeah. No, that's not true. Waddy is not. I think Waddy means to go over the line. But, uh. But it's not your job to 
to watch yourself. You're just supposed to go for it. Well, the defense, did anybody, did, did, you notice, did you notice that you were having a lot less success with the backhand left ball towards, say, the last, oh, set and half? Well, back? I'll tell you the problem with that. I, I, can, I can tell you a lot of why that was. Uh -huh. uh, I, th I think he was still open for it at wide angles like I was shooting early in the match. But when I get tired, it's hard for me to shoot the yeah, wide angles. Right. The, yeah, he was, he blocked, I told myself after, after set number one, never to shoot it from near the wall in the back. Like, I like to shoot it a lot. Because he was, he's sitting there on defense when the puck is back there like that. I need, your, I need Tim's feedback. So it, it doesn't matter. Charge. Anyway, I told, so I told myself to do that. I kept shooting it and I kept turning the puck over doing that. Also, you well, see, did any, any forehands. See, my observation on it, Tim will have to, to tell me what, what he thinks about this. I noticed Tim was playing far more aggressive defense against that shot, and I don't know if it was because he couldn't, you can't figure out whether it's going to come over or under. So he was coming out to the, you know, the interception point here on the, on the table, repeatedly coming out to the interception point for that shot. And maybe it's just easier than trying to determine, but it was also very aggressive, and it seemed to maybe that deterred you a little, skewed your accuracy, something no, like that. Because it was very aggressive defense on that. I noticed that for several consecutive yeah. games. Um, aggressive defenses, though. I, I like to say one more. 